Now, do you remember the experiment when we supercooled water? We actually kept it as a liquid below its freezing point, and then when we added that little bit of ice in it, the whole thing froze instantly. It started the crystal structure. You remember that? And do you remember how I said, well, it's not obvious, but it's actually warming up as it goes back up to its freezing temperature? Now, this experiment does the same thing, only it uses a different chemical. Instead of water, we're going to use sodium acetate. Now, sodium acetate is in a disposable heat warmer. Now, these are called Easy Heat. They're uh, hand warmers that you can find at a camping store. And they come in a package that looks like this. Okay? So, on one of these hand warmers, you flex the disc inside and you watch the crystals grow and expand. Okay, and for our experiment, what we're going to be doing is we're going to cut open one of these and make a hot ice sculpture. Now remember, this liquid is super cooled right now. Sodium acetate actually freezes at 60 degrees Celsius. So do you see that little metal disc in there? That actually is our activator. And by flexing that disc, it actually sets up the crystals. It gets the crystals to start forming. So this liquid in here is super cooled. That means it's a liquid, but it already should be in the, in the solid state, but it's not. So we're going to disturb it a little bit. We're going to activate the crystal structure, and it's going to start a chain reaction, and this whole thing's going to turn into a solid. Now remember, because this liquid is super cooled, that means it's below its freezing temperature. When we turn it from a liquid to a solid, it actually has to go back up. It has to warm up to get to its freezing point. I know it's a little backwards, but that's the way this thermodynamics has been set up in our universe, okay? So we're going to flex the disk and see what happens. So this pack has just warmed up to its freezing temperature, which is actually 60 degrees Celsius. And <laughs> it's pretty warm to the touch right now. It's actually really hot. So you could call this hot ice. All right, we are going to do an experiment with one of these where we actually make a hot ice sculpture. And let me show you what you need to know. Now these are actually reusable, simply by wrapping it in a towel, like a dish towel, and then placing the whole thing in a pot of water and boiling it for about 10 to 15 minutes, it'll turn back into a liquid. You want to make sure it comes back to room temperature before you activate it again, okay? And that way it'll give you a nice long life. Okay, so what we need actually from here is we need one of these solid crystals. So go ahead and play with your pack a little bit and really explore it and kind of check it out. And when you're ready to make the sculpture, you're going to need to open this up with a pair of scissors. Always make sure you're wearing gloves. You don't want to touch sodium acetate with your hands. Okay. So open these up. And you want to grab just one of the crystals and put it in a disposable pan, okay? And then set this aside. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you wanna use a pair of gloves. You don't wanna touch sodium acetate with your hands. And you want to just snip off the corner, so you just want a very thin stream to come out, okay? Okay, now inside my pan, I have my little bit of crystal right there. I'm gonna pour in a very thin stream I'm going to pour this liquid right onto the crystal and I'll be able to make a sculpture just like this. So your sodium acetate sculpture, it's a solid, and it was just a liquid a moment before, and you can feel how hot it is. Now normally, going from a liquid to a solid takes energy and it would get colder, but as I mentioned, because the liquid was super cooled, it had to warm up before it froze. And actually it took energy to go from a liquid to a solid, but it had to heat up in order to go to its freezing point, so it also gave off energy. Now this idea about energy transferred, whether it's absorbed or released, this is really important for our Earth that we live on. Ice can melt in one place, which means taking in heat, and it can flow to another and freeze there. This would be giving off heat. Not only has water moved from one place to another, but so has the heat energy itself. 
If you want to do this experiment again, it's easy. It's, these are reusable. All you have to do is throw it into an old saucepan. Don't use one that you're going to be eating dinner out of later. <laughs> Get an old pot you don't care about and just designate that just for chemistry. Put this in and heat it up over low heat for about five minutes until everything turns back into a liquid form. Turn the heat off and allow the pot to come to a room temperature and then you can do the experiment all over again. Go ahead and give that a try.